dung dung sized lookout towers. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a big sirs and madams. Vika ka here, and on today's episode of May the Fort Be With You, our two medieval farters, Air Biscuit and Kurt the Cheese, visit the Castillo de San Marcos Fort in St. Augustine, Florida. So let out a one cheek sneak, sneeze, but not from your nose, and fluff up your pillow because we are off on another adventure! Hello, everyone. We are here in St. Augustine, Florida, the most oldest city in all of America. And also, I'm here with the ghost of St. Francis Inn, Curdy Rayburn. Look at how white that guy is. Insane. Ha! <laughs> So we checked into our hotel and later on I will give you a hotel tour. Uh, we are staying at the St. Francis Inn, which is known to be haunted. There's a story behind the hotel where there was a lover's quarrel with the owner's nephew and a woman from Barbados named Lily. And they say that Lily or him roams the hallways. We did rent a cottage. It's a two bedroom cottage here at the St. Francis Inn. We're gonna go walk around, we're gonna go hit the fort. The fort. We're gonna do the fort uh, before five o'clock and we're gonna go walk around St. Augustine here. The fort's about 17 minutes away walk. We ate, so we're gonna hit digestion time. And uh, after that, we're gonna continue taking you around St. Augustine, the oldest city in America. When was St. Augustine built? Founded? Founded in 1500 something? 1565, I believe. 1565. So, oldest city in America. Uh, battled by the conquistadors! So, we got this old rickety. These bricks are from 19. before Christ. Just kidding. But, anyways, we'll probably hit you up at the fort. <laughs> So we're here at the Castilla de Fort. The Fort of Forts. I'm using both the Civil War and the Revolutionary War, I believe. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm so happy you're a history buff. Do they call you Mr. History Teacher? I'm quite knowledgeable. You've been here how many times? Yeah. Number three. Number three. So Kurt's been here three times. And this is my first time. Well worth the visit. Well worth the visit. I can't even say the word visit. I say visit. Now we're gonna jump down. Oh my god. It's like I broke my ankle again. Here we go. Let's learn a little bit more about the Castillo de San Marcos National Monument. Castillo de San Marcos symbolizes Spain's vast new world empire. Built between 1672 and 1695, the Coquina Fort replaced a series of wooden forts that had protected St. Augustine for more than 100 years. Improvements in the mid-1700s helped the Castillo, with its soldiers and guns, keep pirates and the British at bay. Spain controlled Florida and the Castillo helped keep their enemies away from the Gulf Stream shipping lane. Spanish treasures fleets used these routes to carry sugar, tobacco, pearls, silver, and gold to Europe. Oh, you can't, that's, in, that's in the inside right there? So we can go on the outside? Should we check out the outside first? Is this the moat? Check out the moat here. This moat is used to keep conquistadors away. How many people have you think have jumped into the moat? You know, for being a fort, um, if I was a pirate or someone trying to get into this fort, it looks like it would be pretty hard. Because uh, I'm assuming that this moat right here was probably a lot deeper. I mean, if you look at this, check out the pigeons of St. Augustine. But look at this moat. 
keep off the moat stairs. So definitely a moat. Oh, that's a pretty big ass fort. Skirt, what's the uh, square footage of this uh, moat, please? Is it on the Zillow market? What? Right now it's going on Zillow for about $250,000 for this specific fort. So any takers, come to my listings at lethalmethal.com and you will be able to see this listing and buy it from me for $250,000 for one stone. This grass is amazing, it's like spinach grass. Did they use cement back then? Question, did the Spanish people have cement back then? Or did they use pocket glue? Hmm, that is a thing for Google to find out. That's to let out the water. Oh, there's a giant penis. What do you think that was for? A lookout? That's a lookout. It's a lookout tower right there. So from what I learned, the Spanish people were big on penises and phalluses. And so they built all their lookout towers looking like little dong-dongs. Um, or big dong-dongs. Or big dong-dongs, actually. Because at the end of the day, the Spanish had uh, hefty underwear to wear. And their dong-dongs could not fit in them. So they took the idea of the dong-dongs and made them into dong-dong-sized lookout towers. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's where the, uh, the man with the biggest dong was a lookout for the Dong Dong Towers. Kurt, were you a lookout tower? I was. He was. Well, whoever has the biggest tool. Wins the pool. Come on. This one's in the pool. How do we get down there? Get out of there. Let's go see ancient architecture. Watch Kurt jump. Yeah. There goes my ankle. <laughs> there goes my knee, actually. Sizzling salvo. The furnace fire is blazing hot. A team of soldiers prepares hot shot to fire at wooden warships, heating cannibals until they glow. During a naval attack, one soldier tends a coal fire and loads a cannonball. After 30 minutes, other soldiers use tongs to remove red hotshot and carry it to guns along the seawall. The goal of hotshot was to set an enemy ship on fire. Although soldiers have never fired a hotshot in battle, they drilled for the possibility. The advent of ironclad ships during the Civil War made hotshot furnaces obsolete. That's pretty cool, they put the cannonballs right in there, right? And then just leave it there and then it just fucking heats up. I never actually used them all. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't see them in battle. Well, it was used to heat up cannonballs. Oh, look, a pigeonhole. What's this? They weren't doors back then. Ah, there was no electricity back then. This is fake. Scam alert. Scam alert. Scam alert. We're going to be yeah, taking you to real news. Nazi. This was fake. That green box was never there during the conquistadors. Like fraud yep. Look, sewers. No sewers. So over here, back in the days, they used to fire the cannons from here. But from here, Kurt fires the cannons from his ass. So at the end of the day, which one's more loaded? The cannons from here, or the cannons in Kurt's ass? I say tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. They both produce fireball cannons. Rather, rather equal in their destructiveness. Oh, look at the cute little head. <laughs> well, that's awesome. It's the different sizes. They're both destructive. Look at that. You think this is portable? Can you lift that up? That's like the GoPro version of the cannon. <laughs> Those like the cannon 70. Expensive. That's a telescopic lens. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. A little different cannons. I don't recall seeing that last time I was here. Oh, well then you didn't Fraud. see everything. Fraud. 
One's a mortar, a howitzer, and one's a cannon. Right. How do you say fire in Spanish? Fuego. Fuego! Oh, check out the moat you can walk into. Let's learn about the moat. Seems like it must have rained not too long ago because it's pretty uh, wet. That's what she said. Hey. Hew, 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 hew. It smells and sounds like a farmyard. Mooing cows, clucking chickens, and snorting pigs are penned in the moat. Oh, so the, the moat was actually not filled with water technically. Right? Oh, so Town Sea Watch had moved into the fort for protection. Oh. They brought their livestock with them. Wow. Can you imagine catapulting pigs into onto boats? <laughs> Wait, is that a, is that what a pig sound makes? What's a pig sound make? Oh, uh, so for for more than a month, fifteen hundred people crowded into the fort. Imagine that, fifteen hundred in this. That's a that's a pretty big fort. It's big, but 1,500 people? Yeah, I mean, with you, pigs? you can live comfortably. With pigs and cows? And yeah. Chickens? Hell no. I mean, dude, honestly, it's like going to O'Brien with the herd. It's the same concept. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. don't watch, hopefully they don't watch our videos. <laughs> I don't think they know who the herd is anyways. Well, check out the moat where pigs and cows and chickens and, and uh, other animals were launched off of catapults against uh, human ships. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow, that's a big dog. Oh, another phallus. Very strong with the phalluses here. These seashells are over one million years old. Made when Earth first formed from mollusks and clams and oysters and pigeons, oh my. This is a very beautiful fart. What do you think about the fart? So that was the outside of the fart. I don't think we're gonna go inside because they close at five o'clock and I don't think we have enough time to really see everything. So, fart done. Wow, look at that grass, it's so beautiful. It reminds me of St. Augustine grass. <gasps> do you think it got the name from St. Augustine? That's a good question. Is St. Augustine grass from St. Augustine? What do you think? I think it's all a farce. No. Should we go that way? It's a fraud. Exiting the fort. So that is a good question here. Is St. Augustine grass from St. Augustine? Is that why it's named St. Augustine grass? We'll have to scour the web for that. Don't know. Shooting star, the more you know. Alright, what a beautiful fart in the heart of St. Augustine, Florida. You see, I rhymed there. Oh my goodness, my friends, this video has come to an end. I hope this experience has brought much joy and laughter to your heart and soul. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification so you never miss an update from us. And if you want to stay connected, be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Your support means the world to us. Hey, did you know that I used to work in a fort cleaning the insides of the cannons? Then they fired me. Alright, I did good. Okay, ding ding ding, thank you, come again. So Mr. Kurt. What a bee, huh? What a bee. What's your thoughts so far of St. Augustine? Uh, so far? I'm liking it. It's I'm liking the history. Met some fine people here at, at our hotel, St. Francis. Got educated on some uh, history of St. Augustine, and also got a a nice uh, political um, lecture from a liberal <laughs> liberal point of view, which is awesome. So overall, I'd say I'm I'm pleasantly surprised and pleased with this experience, and I'm anxiously looking forward to what the rest of the stay has to. Has to offer. So.